Hey everybody, Ryan Blair here. Just decided to go live right now and want to lift you up, send you some of my calming energy, my love, my light, and my leadership. So I hope you're uh, in home right now. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're finding the calm within your heart to do the work that this moment has allowed all of us to do. So I figured I would just uh, you know, come with you into your home this morning and I'll be doing a lot more of this. Um, you know, I feel called to lead during this time and I appreciate you guys accepting my um, desire to lead and my, um, you know, the intention of my heart to do so. So I, I, I will answer any questions that you have. I will, uh, uh, you know, share with you some of the insights that I have based on the work that I've been doing. And I'll be doing a lot of this. So thank you guys for joining me in this community. Thank you guys for sharing the work of Alter Call, sharing my books, sharing my documentary. You know, I, I just, I know that all of the things that have been happening right now have been happening for a reason. And the more that you spiritually connect, the more that you receive the guidance to take those next steps. And I certainly have received a lot of guidance to lead me to a point now where, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm at today. And if you're not where you want to be, my goal is to help you get to, to that place. My goal is to help you elevate to your highest self. And the time that we have at home is such an opportunity to do that. You know, as I look at the Instagram feeds and other social media feeds, you know, I see two types of people. I see those people that are asleep and they're complaining about these times. They're making fun of these times. They're hating during these times. They're spreading conspiracies and rumors and, 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 you know, they're tone deaf. And then you see people that are rejoicing in these times. They're doing the work in solitude. They don't, you know, they're, they're not isolated. They're insulated. They're seeing themselves, you know, uh, as an opportunity for themselves to elevate. And, you know, I've, I've stumbled upon some modalities and I've been guided to some different practices that, have given me great calm during this time. And I literally fear no evil whatsoever. And I want to transfer on to you my strength and you know the perspective that I have and the principles that I have that have led me you know, to the, the mindset that I'm in today. So I appreciate you very much for joining me. Um, yeah, uh, insulated, not isolated. That's awesome, Emily. Uh, please spread the word that we have panic. Um, yeah, you know, the most important thing that we can do to overcome negative vibrations and negative frequencies is to elevate our frequency to as positive as we possibly can. And if you do that, and when I say elevate, our vibrations right now, like how are we vibrating? We're vibrating by our tonalities. We're vibrating by the things that we post. We're vibrating by the words that come out of our mouth. And our vibrations are influenced by the things that we take in. They're influenced by the content that we consume. They're influenced by the people that we speak with. They're influenced by the music that we listen to. You know, our vibrations are influential. And so I ask you, how are you elevating your vibration right now? Because together we can counterbalance a lot of negative energy. There's some, some dark things happening right now. And there's some people that are going to latch on to negative energy. And we need a group of us to vibrate higher than that and to lead people out of negative energy and into positive energy. And if this energy concept is new to you, trust me, I was just like you two years ago saying, what is this energy, vibration, frequency, hippie stuff? And I can tell you, the more that I've just thought about it logically, my voice vibrates, my tonality vibrates. If I'm happy, I'm vibrating happy energy. If I'm sad, I'm vibrating sad energy. And I have the ability to change my vibration and change my frequency and my voice. And, you know, your mindset, your, your connection between your body, your mind and your spirit, that creates a harmony. And from that harmony, you're actually able to, you know, send out waves. And I'm sure you guys can feel, you know, the energy that I have in my heart here on this call uh, or this, this live. And, you know, my goal is to continue to elevate my vibration each day. And the more that we do that, the more that we do that together, 
the better this world is going to be. So I have no doubt that this is a time of change for us. I have no doubt that, that this is going to awaken us to the importance of our health, to the importance of our families, to the importance of, of you know, our, our time alone and our time with the family, the importance of you know, little things that we took for granted, being able to cook together, being able to worship together, being able to, you know, to, to count on each other in our homes for the type of love and grace that we need as opposed to escaping our realities. Now, some people will choose to try to escape the reality of their own homes. And that's a sad thing because your home should be a place where your reality is so beautiful and your home is cultivated around the activities and you know, the, the things that your family loves and enjoys. And so use this time to you know, straighten up your house. Use this time to play an instrument. Use this time to learn to sing, to play the piano. Use this time to read books that you haven't been able to get to. Use this time to study better cooking habits, better eating habits, you know, how to boost your immune system. Use this time wisely. It's like a gift to you. You know, when I was in the, 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 the corporate rat race or the fast lane, I would save up all year to vacation. And I would vacation to escape my reality. My, my job and the pressure of my job and, you know, and, and my home and all that stuff wasn't a good enough reality. And so I would save up to go to some place to escape my reality. And I can tell you that, you know, this, this, this pandemic is an opportunity for us to create a new reality one that we don't need to escape. And so see it as an opportunity for you. And within every darkness, there is light. You just have to find that light. So if you're going through a recession right now, if the work that you were doing is no longer applicable or viable, find new work, find opportunity. If you, know, if, you, know, you had planned a um, spring break vacation with the family, turn it into a staycation. And, you know, and, and do activities and, and, you know, and learn and grow together as a family. If you're worried about your health right now, it's time to take action on your health. If you're worried about your immune system, do breath work, do meditation, do the practices that will boost your immune system. There's so many things that I have to teach that I've been called to learn over the last two years. And specifically since we started Alter Call in October of 2019, I now know now more than ever that I was called to create this, this movement and this community in order to serve in this time. So I'm here to serve. So I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions that, that you might have of me. Uh, I'll be doing a lot of these. I appreciate you for commenting on liking and, and engaging with me for all these years. Um, I do wanna share with you that I will be hosting a daily prayer meditation and I'll give some spoken word during that time each day. That'll be at 9 a.m. Pacific time, and it's via Zoom. You can register at meditate.altercall.com, and it's a, a group of like-minded individuals. You know, right now there's about 50 of us or so, and that number will grow, and together we'll unify and we'll harmonize, and we'll unify and harmonize on frequencies that not only lift ourselves individually, but lift the planet. That's my intention. And so if you want to join me in prayer and meditation each day, I would love that. You know, some of you are not into prayer. That's fine. Uh, you, can, you can join. It's, you know, it, it doesn't matter what religion you are, what ethnicity you are. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what level of expertise you have on the subject of meditation. It just matters that you show up and you come with the right energy and we'll all level each other up together. Now, if you have any questions, um, I would love to uh, answer any of those questions that you might have. Um, uh, Colton, shout out to Tony Lucero. Tony Lucero, shout out to you as well. Um, Emily, yeah, prayer does work. I'm glad you, you, you told me that. When I was in my darkest days, I prayed, and I prayed more than I ever had, and I can tell you without a doubt, prayer works. Some of the things that I was suffering disappeared as I would pray. But there's another component to prayer. You have to pray, and you have to do good deeds. And if you do that, if you pray, which is seeking to receive, and then you share, which is seeking to do a good deed, you will change the course of, of whatever's coming in your family's direction. I know that because I was 
uh, facing a lot of spiritual adversities. A lot of attacks were coming my way. And, you know, they were, many of, most of them were as a result of things that I had done and karma that I had created and, you know, actions that I had, I had done. And so the more that I prayed and the more that I did good deeds, the more that the path was cleared for me to continue the work that I was called to do and the work that my soul was called to do. And now I get to do that work here with you. And it's a blessing. It really is. So if you have a question or you need a prayer, you know, feel free to um, comment below and I'd be happy to, to do that with you. If you want to know how to uh, cultivate the energy necessary to get you through these times, you know, let me know. I, I was called to um, self-quarantine for two years time. I rarely left the house. I only saw friends on maybe a couple occasions and I spent a lot of time alone getting to know my soul. And so I feel like I can help lead you through these times. I have so many best practices and, and tips. Like you guys have seen my videos. I installed a speed bag in my house. I put a basketball hoop up in my house. I got every instrument, drums, uh, violin, saxophone, horns, a chauffeur. Like I was learning all kinds of things that now, you know, I look at what would it be like if I had to stay in my home for two years? It would be magic because I've, I've cultivated a home around that and I can help you do that too. So great. What questions do you have? Um, I, you know, uh, I, I'm, I'm privileged to be able to inspire you. So thank you for that confirmation and that acknowledgement. Um, I'm an amazing leader and teacher. That's awesome. Thank you. I'm here to lead. So if you need leadership, I'll be here every single day. Make sure you register on meditation.altercall.com. And when you register there, you'll be invited to a free daily uh, meditation. And if it's needed, which it likely will be, we'll do them even more than daily. But I will be here for you seven days a week to lead you in prayer and meditation. Um, what is the number one thing that will change for someone that invests into Alter Call? You know, some of us, we need transformation. And, you know, when I say transformation, the number one thing that, that we will, you know, that you will go through when you go to altar call is an awakening, an awakening to new light. Um, and altar call has virtual w uh, ways of teaching. We have courses that we're coming up with and we'll be doing things like this one-on-one -on -one mentorship and so forth. Um, and so while we were doing experiences in my home, uh, we're going to make the adjustments necessary to meet people in their homes. And it's going to be a privilege to do so. So number one thing is you're going to learn how to have, um, uh, uh, you're going to learn to have transformation. Uh, the things that, that uh, I do, you know, we do in our home is we eat plant-based. Um, we try to eat foods that are going to elevate the immune system. We don't eat heavy foods. Uh, we try to take great care of ourselves in here. And consciously, you know, all these pandemics that we're facing are coming from animals. You know, the, the fish that we eat is filled with poison and mercury because we polluted the oceans. The, the, the swine flu came from swine. The bird flus come from birds. You know, the coronavirus has come from uh, the animal species and they've linked it back to animal trade. You know, so the more that we can refrain from eating animals, the better. And I've, I've made the move to plant-based six months ago. I've never felt healthier. I've never been happier. I've uh, grown each day because of that decision. So I highly recommend it. If you're not ready to make that bold leap now and that jump now, you know, you can take baby steps. You know, stop eating so much meat. Start investigating different plant-based proteins and, and, you know, reduce the amount of toxins that you consume. You know, it's not necessarily that it is meat that is bad for you, but the way the meat is cultivated, the way the animals are treated, the way that, you know, that, that our supply chain and our global system uh, uh, harvests meat is terrible. And it's nowhere, there's no way near the way it used to be. And so that's part of the reason why we're having, you know, this, this negative environment. That's why our immune systems are so damaged. That's why people are enduring so many health consequences. I mean, right now, this virus is telling us straight up, if you haven't taken care of yourself, be very concerned. Now, some people do have um, underlying conditions that are not of their own fault. They're hereditary, they're accidental, but many of them come from what we eat and the things that we consume and our stress levels, our sleep levels, things that we can improve and control. And so, you know, it's not too late. 
If you're quarantining right now, you can invest your time and your energy in adopting new habits in order to elevate your immune system and elevate your consciousness to be able to fight off the things that are going to head your way as a result of both this health crisis, but also as a result of this financial crisis, which is going to be far reaching and it's going to impact us in ways that we cannot even uh, calculate. This event is a once in a hundred year event. Um, and I would say that it's probably a once in a thousand year event. The last time that I can see on record that something like this, this dramatic has happened was during the dark ages. And from the dark ages, there was a plague. And from that plague birthed the Renaissance. And so I have no doubt that humanity will enter into a Renaissance period at some point. And it's a really a result of, of the work that we do here right now and the work that we do when we are quarantined. Great. Uh, what foods do I replace instead of meat? Um, there's all kinds of ancient grains that are high in protein. You know, just, just Google, get on YouTube and look at the different proteins uh, that are out there and the different nutrients that are out there. Uh, the vegan lifestyle and the plant-based lifestyle is very well documented. And um, there's a documentary that, that changed my life called Game Changers that's available on all major platforms that um, you know, gave me some good tips that I utilize in, in uh, the practice. For those of us who like to uh, remember the nostalgia of eating meat, there's Beyond Meat and there's plant-based uh, meat alternatives that are, that are out there that you know, are, are very delicious and tasty. So it's, not, you know, it, it's something that we can transition to now based on the modern technology. Yeah, Colton, Tempe, Satan, pea protein, tofu, etc. Uh, thank you, Colton. Um, what's the first thing someone can do straight out of bed to be filled with joy for the day, even in isolation? Well, the first thing I do when I get out of bed is I go straight into a meditation. I seek to remove negative energy that I might be carrying with me from the day before. And I try to cleanse my negativity by acknowledging it and removing it. And then I seek to be filled with light. And each meditation that I do, I pray with an intention. And so the imp intention that I'm praying with uh, over the past few days has been uh, uh, the intention to open up roads and open up the pathways necessary for me to lead um, uh, to the best of my ability and to my calling. And so for those of you that pray, if you can pray that I would have pathways open and, and roads open so that I may lead uh, to my best of my ability and I may answer the call to my calling. That's, that's my goal during this period of time. So great question. Do I use a meal delivery service? Yeah, you know, there's, there's m many meal delivery services out there. Um, Amazon is hiring 100,000 workers and Whole Foods delivers. You know, right now, uh, getting meal delivery is the best uh, route that we can possibly take. Um, and so, you know, you might have to order.